One of the most important things that we had to bear in mind when it came to porting the Monument Valley games over to PC was that the original games were designed very much with mobile in mind, and so they're controlled with gestures that are most intuitive on those devices. But of course, there's a different set of gestures and interactions that are more intuitive on PC. And so that's something that we really had to think quite carefully about in order to preserve the spirit of the original games. One of the things that we weren't sure about when we first started developing this was we didn't know whether it would look good to have Monument Valley levels in widescreen. And thankfully, as soon as we started experimenting, it all just seemed to make sense. So it's just nice to be able to bring this to uh, an even broader audience and have people experience it in a different way. There were a few design challenges we had to overcome, porting from touch to a mouse control. So for touch, it's designed for large fingers that might occlude the rotators and draggers, and we had to adjust things so that they were precise with the, the mouse, which is much more, you know, you can feel much more tactile in a different way. And we wanted to show that the user's actions in this world could like reveal different levels of interactivity. So we did things like glowing the draggers and the rotators when you are hovering over things and the UI responds in different ways. It's been really beautiful seeing how the art team has expanded this world that we're already familiar with beyond the portrait screen. We always thought like, you know, it's like, we made it so purposefully for mobile, like there's no way it's going to be good <laughs> on any other platform. And then suddenly we started experimenting with this and just seeing the same level, even without doing any additions to the environment or anything, just like having this massive space around, like suddenly felt like you're in Monument Valley now. You used to have this little window, this little like keyhole to look through and and look at this magical world and now you're in it. Yeah, working on Mono Valley Panoramic Edition has been, I don't know, like nostalgic. It's been like going back to a childhood home. One of the biggest challenge uh, was to look at both game as a whole and making sure that the Panoramic Edition would be a cohesive experience, both from a technical and a, a final user perspective. Creating a flexible tool set that will allow the team to iterate on levels, both on portrait and landscape, was one of our biggest development pillars. There is something so charming about having all this extra room to play with in the panoramic edition. Through making this new edition of Monument Valley, we really wanted to hold on to that immersive, meditative experience that you experience on a touchscreen or a mobile phone. And we very much recreate that in this new expanded world. And you're almost stepping more into the world of Monument Valley. You're seeing more of this beautiful architecture and geometry and the impossibility that makes the puzzles so unique. So we've just been so excited to be able to revisit the world of Monument Valley, dig back into that project and just reimagine that world for PC players.